18, now it's my turn. There is no turn. No, no, no. You this is the air. This is the air. This is the air. Stop! Stop! This is the Arizona Constitution, and we're going to have a discussion like men. On December 3rd, a group of self-proclaimed patriots forced their way into the House of Representatives at the Arizona State Capitol to protest the results of the 2020 election. Brian Mache, a reality TV dad of sex tuplets, who is also running for governor, led the charge. Film this, everyone! All right, sir, you're trespassing. You're gonna leave? Oh, we're leaving. Oh, uh, 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 you put your hand on me. You put your hands now you're toast. On I'm owning your badge. You hear me? Everybody go. S. Hernandez. Oh, I got you're it. You're done, buddy. We're you doing. You got it. Find your warrant right it. there. You, man. What's Bro. gonna happen when they infringe on all of our freedoms? It's going to affect you and your families also. Arizona's Stop the Steal demonstrators believe it is their civic duty to overturn the 2020 election. We are calling forth all members of the Proud Boys, the Three Percenters, the Oath Keepers, any other militia groups within the state of Arizona. Non-militia groups. Uh, excuse me, non-militia groups, okay. <laughs> calling forth for a muster and a head count. We are now facing legitimate domestic enemies. Legitimate. Insurrection. An insurrection, a coup. They first came out to protest while the votes were still being counted. We're here to say count the legal votes, and we want a fair and honest election. And fueled by baseless conspiracy theories, built momentum through November and December. Several told us they were ready for violence. You know, the problem is that we have intolerant groups from the left, uh, like Antifa and BLM, who will do any dirty little trick. But yeah, this is just for my protection, and this is just in case you know things get really violent. But uh, but it's all going to be for defense. If this is all for defense, you know, no offense at all. And while some eventually took their anger all the way to Washington to protest as Congress certified Joe Biden's win, others watched on a big screen at the Arizona State Capitol. Patriots have stormed the Capitol. <laughs> USA! USA! It was, in many ways, the moment they had been waiting for. Early in the morning, as Congress began to certify the 2020 election results, a crowd of hundreds gathered in downtown Phoenix to watch. We will stop the steal. Despite a lack of evidence, 73% of Republicans, what's likely tens of millions of people, believe that there was widespread voter fraud. Mr. Vice President, I rise up for myself and 60 of my colleagues to object to the counting of the electoral ballots from Arizona. Within minutes of some Republican officials' attempt to overturn Arizona's election results, a mob of Trump supporters ransacked the Capitol. January 6, 2021, was a day of deadly violence that left many Americans wondering, how could this happen? But at this Stop the Steal rally in Phoenix, people were ecstatic. More than that, united we stand. We want answers and we will get them! Adele Belgate is 30 years old. He's new to community organizing, but he's devoted the past two months to organizing numerous rallies to challenge the election. This is your moment to shine. We are standing here in a historic moment that will be remembered forever. Your children one day will ask you, did you fight for this country or did you watch it fall? Before this, he had more experience reaching people online with his social media marketing company. To be honest with you, I actually voted Democrat in the previous elections. But as a tech expert, what I'm seeing what's happening right now tells me that something's wrong. And the errors continue to happen, the glitches are coming out, the eyewitness testimonies are happening. And as a CEO of a company, I tell you, we just need to look into it. We need to understand if any foreign invaders are taking our election. And the way it's pointing, it just seems that way. Adele has been involved with the cause since day one, as people gathered spontaneously after election night. And God, with your blessings, hopefully we can, we can have the outcome um, that you wish. In God's name, amen. amen. They coordinated where and when to meet using social media and messaging apps. As the weeks went on, conservative and far-right personalities started popping up in the crowds. We had the Alex Jones come out last night. We got Charlie Kirk here today. We have only begun to fight. We have only begun to fight. We have only begun to fight. The Stop the Steal hashtag is now banned from social media sites. But for those gathered here, getting deplatformed is a badge of honor. 
I've been banned permanently from Facebook now, um, you know, but this is amazing. This is showing that I've, I've done my job, you know, and it's not done yet, but, you know, it shows that I'm doing something, so. The group is often loving and supportive towards each other. When someone from the other side crosses into their ranks, it gets tense. I reject why. national white supremacy and all the There's no, there is no white supremacy. Is that why you guys? If there's are white supremacy, if is there's that white supremacy, brothers? Biden is a white supremacist. Is that why you fake, you're fake, dude. You're fake. Look how you, you're dressed just to see if someone will harass you. At the daily rallies, debunked conspiracy claims were major talking points. Oh, we're just out here to support our great president. We believe that he won. If you eliminate all those fraud ballots, all the ballots that went through in, in the Dominion voting machines changed the vote from Trump to Biden. Yeah, I would like to see recounts in uh, almost every state, it should be, every state that used that Dominion software. You know, all the other scandals, Obamagate, Pizzagate, uh, Watergate scandals, stuff like that. So I was like, you know what, this is Sharpiegate. And then the list of powerful people they believe are in on it. Clinton Foundation is heavily invested in them. I mean, uh, Nancy Pelosi's family, just George Soros money. And when you start to follow the money and you start to follow the money trail, it ties you back in a lot of ways to China. There's also a money trail from Stop the Steal back to Trump's political organizations, which have raised over $200 million since Election Day, using misleading appeals about the integrity of the vote. As Trump leaves office, Stop the Steal is likely to remain a battle cry, even though there is no evidence for many of their most deeply held beliefs. I just want to just tell people, wake up, man. This is, like, this, this is the slide into socialism and the slide into communism right now. It's happening right before our eyes. Um, we're losing rights left and right. We're losing um, freedoms left and right. And people are just asleep. They don't realize. Security ramped up in Washington and at state houses across the country in the lead up to inauguration. After the deadly riots at the U.S. Capitol, authorities have arrested several Arizonans, including a fixture of Phoenix Stop the Steal rallies, Jacob Chansley, AKA the Q Shaman. Still, Arizona's Stop the Steal devotees are even questioning what they saw unfold at the Capitol riots. 99.9% .9 of what happened in D.C. today was peaceful. You ask me why it was any sort of violent, I tell you, well, Antifa started the break into the Capitol. So ask Antifa why they did that. According to the FBI, there is no indication that Antifa played a role in the riot. While the movement to overturn the election may have failed, those who have been involved from the beginning have already set the stage for the next four years. It's going to continue rallying every weekend, or maybe we'll start doing it every day until uh, the real results are shown.